Welcome back to chaos. Let's turn ourselves into a sexy Shrek. If you've never put on a bald cap before, the first thing you do is get your hair as flat as possible. That's a combination of using hairspray and combing it down with bobby pins. If you have a lot of hair, you may need to braid it down as well. Once your hair is flat, you're going to want to slap that bald cap on and start shaving it to fit your face. So you're gonna grab a small pair of scissors and cut right down the middle. Now for a Shrek character, I make a lot of fun expressions. So I'm going to start testing where the wrinkles in my forehead from making expressions start and stop. And then I'm going to kind of shave around them. I made the mistake last time I wore a bald cap to pull it down closer to my eyebrows. And because I was making so many silly faces, it uh, just wiggled its way off my head. So we're going to try avoiding that this time by cutting it closer to the hairline and further away from the face. Unlike normal bald caps, we are actually not going to cut around the ear. We are fully going to enclose the ear in the ball cap because Shrek doesn't have human-like ears. I'm going to glue Shrek ears on top of the ball cap. Now, once you've got your ball cap cut, you're going to adhere it to your face. I prefer using Prosaid. It's a medical grade glue that honestly will last forever and is a pain to get off, which means the bald cap's gonna stay on my head longer. I'm using the heat of my fingers to kind of help get the big chunks down, and once I've gotten those adhered to my face, then I'm gonna go back and kind of even all of the bits out. Now that the bald cap is secured and glued on, we're going to use acetone to smooth out the edges so that it looks naturally on my head. It's a very easy process, it's just very time consuming. You just put some acetone on a Q-tip and slowly kind of dissolve the bald cap into the skin. It gives the bald cap a wonderful a smooth texture so there's no seam or line but it does take a while to do now that the bald cap is fully attached it is time to start looking shrecky I'm gonna start by putting my contacts in before I do anything else and then, once those are fully in, we're going to prep the skin. Before I put on body paint, I usually put a layer of foundation, concealer, etc. This will act as a barrier between my skin and the body paint. It also kind of builds in my pores, so my body paint looks a little bit more flawless. Special Effects 101, you always add your prosthetics before you do your paint. For me, that's going to be my Shrek ears. And I'm just using a little bit more of the Prosade to stick them on my bald cap and that will have them staying on there pretty much all night. My particular choice of body paint for Shrek is going to be the Light Green by Tag. I like using Tag and Mayron, but for this particular Shrek look, the Light Green that Tag makes is incredibly neon and swampy green and it's one of my favorites to use. So you're going to notice that the bald cap still has wrinkles pretty close to the neck. That is something that's kind of just unavoidable with bald caps, especially if you're putting them on yourself. So if you're going to do a bald cap, I would wear a choker or a collared shirt. We're going to set the body paint with some baby powder. Uh, there are other setting powders that are sold, but my preferred method is baby powder because it's cheap and it's easy. Once the paint has been fully baked and set, you're going to grab a dark green and a smaller blending brush and start sculpting. If you have an airbrush, it would be a good time to use one. I prefer using powder. It does take a little bit longer to get the sculpt you want, but I enjoy the time I spend sitting and sculpting my face into Shrek. Once 
Once I've gotten the shape that I like, I'm actually going to go back in with the same brush without adding any more product and just kind of blend it all out into the body paint. This will help it look flawless and less boxy. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. Now that the face has been shaped, we're going to go in and do the features. I always add underneath the lip, contour the nose, and then right above the lip. Now with the bald cap, you do have to go in and color in the rest of your head. Otherwise, you just look like an alien. And the last step, adding all the fun features. So with Shrek, I definitely do incredibly pink cheeks and I also add that onto my nose just to look a little bit cartoony and silly because this is already a very silly costume. Once the blush is on, I'll go in with a lighter green. I kind of just help sculpt out any of the areas that I feel need them. I think this is going to change from person to person, um, but this is where you just kind of have fun with it. Moving on from the face and going to the eyes, I use a pretty heavy, like, drag queen smoky eye for Shrek is the best way I can describe it. It's going to be a cut corner with straight black eyeshadow um, with an incredible cut crease. I add glitter to the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm going to glam it up. Um, but I think with this sexy Shrek, it kind of, whatever you want to do with your eyes, go for it. This is such a silly concept to even do that I think any interpretation of it will work and will look fantastic. For the eyebrows, I am going to come in with a straight black um, and I'm going to try and make my eyebrows as pointy and angry as possible because I think that just fits the Shrek vibe. Once the eyebrows are fully on, I'm going to go back in and kind of contour a little bit with highlights and I'm going to do this by blending white and yellow into my skin tone. Using the same glitter I used on my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and add all my highlights on my face and this is kind of where all the magic happens. Shrek glam starts kind of popping the life. Now since I do want my eyebrows to stay sharp, I am actually going to come back in with a liquid eyeliner and go over them just to make sure that they retain their shape since the glitter kind of got on top of them a little bit. Now to really add the swampy Shrek vibe, I am going to come back in with a brown body paint and the opposite end of a brush and add some freckles and skin tags and I'm just going to kind of dot those all over my bald cap as well as my cheeks just to give it a little bit more life. And to make sure the girlies know that this is a glamorous, sexy Shrek, we're going to pop on some falsies and then go ahead and apply our black lipstick. Instead of the neutral tone, I think the black just kind of holds it all together. Now 
Now for the final touch of this look, I actually did come in with heavy application of white eyeshadow around the cheeks. I did a little bit on the forehead and I think I did a little bit on my chin. Um, and this was kind of just to add a photo finish, glamorous, glamorous look. Um, you don't have to do this if you want the more natural look, but I think it did end up looking better in the photos. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see some other people doing sexy track makeup soon.